So what's up everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to start on a project that's probably going to go over the course of a couple days and that's cleaning up our pond. Here, got a really nice pond, just moved the cows out of here just a couple minutes ago and now you know it's overgrown with algae, the banks are kind of grown up with goat weed and other weeds. So just want to come in here, make it look all nice, get rid of the crappy pasture that's below it and around it and just make this look really really just make this look really really nice and make it really productive probably eventually gonna put some sort of dock out here so we can go fishing in it but it just doesn't look eh, it doesn't look that great um, could look a lot better so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna come out here clean up this and uh, probably like I said a couple day project but well worth it and then at the end of it just might go fishing just you know just a little reward to myself all right so check it out came here and mowed most of this down couldn't get too terribly close to the water's edge because you know don't want to go swimming with the mower so I'm gonna come in here with a scythe probably and uh, get all this stuff out and then go down with like a hard rake and try and scoop most of the that junky stuff out probably put it on top of the dam that way it just adds more you know organic matter to the uh, to the dam which is not always which is never a bad thing and that way you get this pond looking all nice and pretty the majority of it is uh is done but it's the you know little detail parts that are going to take the most time and i just don't have that time today but cows are happy pond's looking better we'll probably pick this up again tomorrow so got a lot done happy with the progress cool All right, it's the next day, got done mowing. Now I want to clean up around the edges. Why, because when the edges of things look nice, it makes it just look 10 times better when it's only maybe 5% of the whole area. And then also just to get all these weeds out of the pond and just whatnot, so I'm gonna make this look nice. That's not gonna work. These things are too woody. Well, that's not gonna work. The goat weed's too woody, so I guess, am I really gonna have to do this by hand? That would suck, but I think that's what I'm gonna have to do. Shoot. All right, um, gonna probably have to go back to the drawing board because uh, that stuff's too woody and it just slides right off the scythe. The scythe's pretty sharp too, by the way. So that's really not the issue. And then the stuff in the pond, I think I have an idea for that. I don't know if it's gonna work, but I think I have an idea. Gonna try, go try and rig something up, see if it works. All right, back now. Here's my idea for the getting the stuff out of the pond old piece of cattle panel this stuff sheared off then I was gonna use chain but I don't think I have a chain long enough so Nicole gets mad at me when I don't throw anything away but in this case I think it's gonna help this is an old broken extension cord I'm gonna tie it on there throw it out try and pull everything in see if that works See if this works. If this works, this is my official patent entry for this piece of very sophisticated technology. All right, well here goes nothing. 
Elon Musk who bro? This works. I would officially like to take all the credit for this great invention of an old extension cord and a cattle panel that's sawed off and has teeth. Look at this. It got all that stuff out in like less than five minutes. Check that out. Sometimes I do come up with good stuff. My boots are all wet with water and gets a little bit heavy when there's a ton of stuff on there but you know what if there's ever a way too much you can always tie the extension cord to the mower and pull everything out look at that I'm pretty proud of myself I'm really actually pretty proud of myself This thing, this thing right here, <laughs> works extremely well. Who would have thought an old extension cord and a piece of a cattle panel would be able to clear out a pond so easy. Not gonna be able to finish today because I just don't have time. But come tomorrow, me and this thing are gonna clear out the rest of the pond. I mean, <laughs> wow. Now, gonna probably make a couple changes when I come out here tomorrow to my brand new invention. And that's to, uh, these things, I'm gonna try and bend them like this. I'm gonna bend them up. That way they don't grab along the bottom because sometimes they'd grab and then it'd tip over and it's not gonna pull up that much stuff. But if I throw, if I do it like this, this stuff will grab all the, whatever you wanna call it in the pond and be able to pull it up real easy, really no problem. This is awesome. <laughs> As you can see, this is working extremely extremely well see look there's the difference right there used my new contraption didn't use it it gets it like nothing and right here I can just use a it gets it all the way to the shore and if I could probably use it again and pull it all the way out like I did over there or I could just come through with the little rake and just rake the rest of it out really no problem I mean look at that I was not expecting to do that today and uh, yeah, this is awesome. Probably messing up a bunch of bluegill habitat, but you know what? I care more about the pond looking nice than I do about bluegill, and plus we have some cedars, you know, sunk out there, so they, they'll be fine. But look at that. Big difference, looking a lot better. Gonna have to clean all that up. Still gotta figure out something for the woody goat weed here. Might see if that could work, like as a drag, if I put some bricks on top of it or something. I don't know. Or just come here with the, like a little lawnmower and you just go up and down, up and down, all the way around. It'd be a little bit of a work, but you know, that's, I think it's worth it. We're, but tomorrow we're gonna come out here and use this invention. I, I made my own like pond drag, if you wanna call it, for free, so. <laughs> so this thing is working out really well. I might even put some, uh, like a little bit of a weight on the back, maybe with some sort of chain or something, that way it holds it down in the back more. But this thing, look, I can just bend it with my hands. It's gonna work out <laughs> perfect. I didn't think it was gonna be that hard to get all that stuff out, and I thought I could just go with a rake and you know, but no, that doesn't really work. This thing, this thing works. Come up with a name for it. Come up with a name for it. I don't know what, I don't know what this should be called, but 
come up with the name for it. That'd be pretty interesting. I'm uh, very pleasantly surprised with this thing. This is your DIY pond drag cowboy edition, if you want to call it that. So, awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So with that, to see more crazy inventions like this thing right here and uh, the work around the farm. Hit that subscribe button down below, ring the notification bell so you get notified when we put up new videos. Hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm and drop a comment with uh, what we should name this thing. This, this is awesome. <laughs> so simple, so simple, but works. Little bonus clip, just invented something else. Remember those $1 fiberglass posts that, you know, just didn't work for the pasture area? Found a use for them. When your boots get all wet and all full of water, drive them into the ground and they make the perfect way to dry off your boots. Look at that. Let's just see how many things I can invent in one day. Just on the creative raw, just call me Leonardo da Vinci, baby. Take that, Leonardo da Vinci, Albert Einstein, Elon Musk. You can add Ryan Murphy to that list. 